particle Pepto-Bismol, uh, I used to be a pharmacist, and I noticed on the label it had some sodium salicylate. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if it's really a problem or not, but salicylates, we have kept away from children for the fave Ray syndrome. The company thinks it's not a risk factor. Do you think adding something that has salicylate in a child whoever the treatment is a good or a bad idea? Well, I think that uh, the situation with Rye syndrome is one that's a little bit puzzling. The number of cases that there were of Rye syndrome in the 70s and uh, early 80s was so much greater than what we see now, and no one completely understands what that is, aside from the recommendation to not be using uh, salicylates in children with viral illnesses. Most of the cases of uh, Rye syndrome are seen in several types, specific types of viral illness, like chickenpox uh, and influenza. And so certainly one would not want to employ Pepto-Bismol at all in those sort of circumstances when one thinks that either one of those uh, are the bottom uh, of what's taking place. So in other words, if we're not sure it's good to keep it away we don't know if it is a problem because the company has made statements they don't think it is, but because it is a salicylate byproduct, and we're not sure the race to do is linked to it 100%, but it's amazing when we stop using it, the cases seem to dissipate. That's absolutely correct. And so again, uh, especially with the younger child, um, if it's not a traveler type of diarrhea where you have a different type of thought process, but a viral illness, it is a little safer uh, to keep the children away. Now, the company makes the claim based on the fact that the quantity of uh, salicylate is less than what you would get in, that, in the administration of aspirin, but if you look at the actual pathogenesis, in other words, if you understand how that disease took place, it did not necessarily suggest that it was secondary to a certain amount of medicine, just simply exposure to a medicine at a crucial point in the disease process. There are a couple of conditions we still have to use aspirin. Some kids with arthritis, there's a thing called Kawasaki. There's a few, we still use it, we're careful about it, but so far we haven't seen it, an increased number of cases in those kind of kids, so we're still not 100% sure, as you brought up. It seems to be we're not 100%. So the wisest thing is, if you don't need a medicine, don't reach for it. That is always the best treatment in the world. Isn't that true? That's absolutely There's correct. There's no side effect to any drug you do not use. Is that correct? That is correct as well.